morning, as I was going through my email, I, uh, I, I, I don't know how it happened, but y you know, when you're doing that stuff on the computer, all of a sudden somebody subscribes you to something and you don't know how it happened, but this one isn't too bad. It's uh, inspirational quotes for every day. And I've looked at it before and I've never seen any kind of connection to the church or to um, anything that I would recognize as being specifically Catholic, but you would, uh, could imagine I was quite surprised and happily so when I found this quote this morning for today that seemed to go hand in hand with the gospel reading. It's a quote that says this, it's one of the greatest gifts you can give yourself to forgive. Maya Angelou, okay? Not necessarily my favorite person, um, I don't know her, uh, but some of the writings and some of the, the things, I, I was never overly thrilled. But then as I was reading this, I thought to myself, the cynic in me, is, well, that's a little self-serving, isn't it? It's one of the greatest gifts you can give to yourself is to forgive. There's no uh, talk about the other. And so that side of me, I don't know if you have that side at all. You ever get cynical? Well, it's there. And I have to fight it at times. So when I first read that, knowing what today's gospel was, I said, well, I guess maybe that's reflective of the age. Everything is about us and nothing is about someone else. There's the cynic in me. But then when I think about what it is that happens when we are willing to forgive, our hearts are no longer hardened when we can forgive. And when we do that, when we make the conscious effort to be as Christ called us to be, ready to forgive, slow to anger, right? When we do that, it actually works in a, in a give and take way. The person that has offended us or hurt us receives a grace when we forgive. And when we forgive, that hardness, that ugliness, that holding on to the hurt is let go. And so we then become even more liberated, freed to live in love as Jesus did. Why would Peter come to Jesus to say, Lord, when, someone, when my brother sins against me, how often do I have to forgive? Obviously, there was something that was working in Peter, and he was unsettled about it. Lord, I'm trying. But what do I have to do? I hear you talk about this, but how many times do I have to do it? Let's get specific. Let's get to the letter and not the spirit, right? How many times do we go there? And Jesus blows him out of the water, lovingly, of course. No, 70 times seven. In other words, don't bother counting. This is what is required. Why? Because that's how God loves us. And that's how we're called to love in return. So Maya Angelou, good job. Website, good job. And now, for each of us, let's make it a good job in how we follow the commandment of Christ. And who knows, we may find that we end up ourselves receiving a great gift from God who is love when we forgive as we've been forgiven. Amen.